everyone welcome to another episode another episode welcome to another video for floor's garden my name is floor massey and welcome if you're new welcome back if you're not i don't know y'all either my friends or you're weird if you're watching my videos like <laughs> and you know what the weirder the better so it's okay welcome to the garden period we're doing something fun today or at least I think it's fun. I mean, you must be interested too if you clicked on the video. Today we're doing a sketchbook tour! Ah! This is my most recent sketchbook, number six. She thick, you know what I'm saying? She filled to the brim with all of my brain barf. <laughs> yeah, this is basically kind of like a, a COVID memory because I got this when like quarantine was really like our first summer in quarantine whatever so this is really basically just like a bunch of memories like throughout the pandemic you know what I'm saying hope you like it it's um she's a little interesting uh <laughs> we're just gonna look through miss number six I'm gonna tell y'all what's really in here and we're gonna have fun I almost knocked down a whole cup of water oh my god but yeah, I hope y'all like the video, and let's get on with it. Sketchbook. Here's the um, the front, the cover. I painted a red panda on it. I got this picture from like Google. And this forest garden you can see right here. Brace yourselves, y'all, please. So this is. An interesting cover page. It wasn't as smudged before, but it's very smudged now. And then this is from when I started it, June 27th, 2020, and I ended it June 27th, 2021. So exactly one year later. This is my first page. It got smudged. It was supposed to be me. I was holding up a peace sign. I spilled food and I closed my book and I didn't know. So food stain. On to the next. So this is just me. And like a couple of my goals or whatever. So this is like my first drawing that I got, that I did. Um, I had no idea what to draw when I first got the sketchbook. And me and my siblings were playing Dead or Alive at the time. So I drew Lei Fang. It doesn't really look like her, but I tried my best. And I was coming off from like a whole year of not drawing anything. So I'm even surprised it came out that well. Next we have this random OC I made. This page is a mess of things. I don't know. I made this a girl named Andal Adelina. And so Angie and Adelina are together. I made them together. Some random hand. That's Naruto. Um, I think this is a nose. I don't know. That's me. That's also me up here in this corner screaming because that's what I usually do all the time for no reason. On the next page, we have Sushi, my cat. These are just pictures I got of him. And then this is some random girl walking through Harlem. Next, these are, <laughs> that's me screaming again. That's Angie, I think. There's Angie and Adelina again. A random body, because I was just like, anatomy. My cat again. This is so bad. We're going to ignore that. And that's my brother flying, because we were watching Naruto at the time. Next page, I wanted to study male anatomy, because I usually don't. That's me, because that bicep came out mad good. Tell me it didn't. Look at the, look at the hand, too. I can't draw hands. Look at the, I don't... It looks like Mr. Crab's claw, like... And it looked like Mirio, because I just drew a random face on it. On to the next. So this page is a page of eyes that I just randomly drew over time. So if I wanted to warm up for something, like a drawing or whatever, I would do an eye, like a day, or maybe two a day. And then I would sketch or draw whatever I wanted to draw that day. And then this, I'll flip it like that is I started watching Naruto with my brother. So there's Naruto screaming. And there's Tenten and Sakura on the ground because when they were kids, they were kind of trash. They got, well, Sakura got better in Shippuden, but Tenten pretty much stayed spamming weapons. So there's Sasuke flipping off Naruto because, yeah, <laughs> it's Sasuke. And then there's a random drawing of Naruto that I did as well. And there's Naruto, like, whatever, at the bottom. On this next page, I went out with my friends, I know, going outside during the pandemic, but it was like when things were like kind of opening again, so and you just had to eat outside, so I went to this like place in Koreatown, and we have 
you know, just a train stop door and ad and some random girl who I saw and I wanted to draw her and I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway. And it was from, uh, like for drawings that I wanted to do, like paintings that I never did. This is my best friend Trinity. We had a painting picnic in the park. Guy Sensei from Naruto. There's Kakashi Sensei, also known as my man from Naruto as well. That's me and my brother because we were watching it. Taste? Immaculate? It's there. Next page. These are some old OCs that I drew from when I was like a sophomore, like in high school. So this is Quinn and then this is Aaron. This is a self-portrait that I did on, what is that, July? July 7th, 2020. Then we got, I tried to redraw something from when I was younger. Her legs just look like breadsticks. I don't know. I don't like this redraw at all. These two I both got from Pinterest. It was like a little like comic thing and I had just gotten like these pens. I wanted to test them out and it didn't really come out that good coloring it so I just outlined it and I thought it looked really cool. Next we got Taehyung during the Singularity era. Yeah, I wanted to draw him with his mask. I was really proud of the hand as well. But yeah, this is Taehyung during the Singularity era. And this is Ariana Grande. I didn't mean to draw her, but I was listening to Stuck With You on repeat. And I guess I just kind of drew her subconsciously. Next up, we have some logo work that I was doing for Flora's Garden. This is me complaining because I was brainstorming for such a long time. It's kind of like my brain process, my brain barf, as I usually say. This is me. I put myself in Naruto because I didn't want to make an OC, so... I made myself, I gave myself a self insert and that's me with my man Kakashi. I gave myself like that moon mark because I want myself to do like water jutsus and stuff like that. And I know people from Konoha really don't do water jutsus but you know me, I love water <laughs> even though I can't freaking swim. On to the next. So here we have, um, I guess Jake from State Farm, I don't know. Random eyeball in the top left corner, some feet. That's me in a giant sushi. So that's me and my cat, the big abyes. That's me not knowing what's going on and just random sketches. And this is how I drew my brother, how I thought he would look in Naruto. He wanted to be from the Cloud Village. And this is James, my brother James in the Cloud Village. That's how I designed his character, his self insert. Looking fresh. This is, oh my God, that glare, that glare. Focus on me. This is another OC that I made. Her name is Aaliyah Davin. Um, these are redraws from like an old sketchbook that I did. And basically she's a boxer from New York. I don't know what kind of tattoo that is. I, I'm not very good at designing tattoos for my characters. This is a drawing. I drew this girl. She was on Pinterest and I just didn't like how it came out. So what I did was graffiti on it. So I kind of just drew all over it as if I was like doing graffiti like on a poster or whatever and I liked how it came out very interesting piece that's the sky this is the sky from when I went I think I went to like City Island with my friends these are the Skyler sisters for those of you who don't know I've been obsessed with the musical Hamilton ever since I was a freshman in high school so I guess you can only imagine how happy I was when they put it on Disney Plus this is something I was doing for my friend Ruben that I actually never got to him Ruben if you're watching this I am so sorry <laughs> This next page, I actually really like a lot. This is Jimin from Spring Day. There's a scene towards the end of the music video. Spring Day is by a band called BTS. It's one of my favorite music videos that they've done of all time. And I just love the visuals and all of that. And then this is me in Naruto again. Kakashi Sensei is cute. Like, no, my man, whatever. Listen, I don't know what this is. Uh, I wish I could explain that to you, but I can't and a, ran a very poorly drawn hand up there. This is my portrait of Jungkook that I did. This is not my art as I stated right there. I could not find the name of the artist, I would otherwise I would have put it down there, but I did get it off of Pinterest. And I drew this picture of Jungkook and I printed this out and I glued it in because I felt like it. This is when I had my Dr. Mike <laughs> Um, I guess stage where I would watch all of his videos. Dr. Mike is a doctor on YouTube that makes a lot of educational videos and stuff like that and he's actually really like funny to watch and stuff like that too. Dr. Mike, if you're seeing this, you probably won't, but if you do, no you didn't. <laughs> this, uh, these are baby photos that I drew. This is me and my brother James and that's me. I remember I was sad because James was actually in the hospital because um, he had appendicitis. I don't know if y'all ever seen like 
sim babies but he looks like a sim i don't really draw babies like that so yeah these are our baby photos that i drew next up was when i was watching haikyuu oh my gosh i love the anime haikyuu so basically this is me putting myself in haikyuu um i made myself libero because i'm very short i'm 5'2 and you know if nishinoya can do it i can do it too but this is my friend matt my friend matt is actually very very good at volleyball he's not 5'2 like i am <laughs> he's very tall so i drew him spiking a ball too this is ruben um and then there's nishinoya in the corner I think it came out really good, but yeah, this is my high Q spread. We have a random girl. She was inspired by my friend Naja, actually. I was listening to Who's Loving You by the Jackson 5. I love that song so much. Um, but yeah, that's basically what was just going on here. That was the inspiration behind that. And this is some random girl that I got off of Pinterest. It didn't really come out that good, and I don't like it even to this day. But, you know, it's part of the process. You're gonna draw some stuff. It's a sketchbook. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna draw stuff that you don't really like, but... It all contributes to your growth, so, you know, I'm not mad at it, but I just pers I don't like it personally. Then there's a bunch of random doodles I did while I was listening to Sweet Night by V, um, 4 O'Clock by RM and V, and Soul by RM. This is my OC and Bakugo, because I was trying to practice my couple poses, and I didn't just want them to be like how I did the male anatomy in the beginning. I didn't want it to be like that, so. Then, this is from Bring It On. I was watching Bring It On, Isis, the white girl. That's me screaming yay because <laughs> these are pom-poms and I wanted to try drawing in pen. This YouTuber drawing with waffles is always like, oh my gosh, drawing in pen is the best thing ever. And I'll admit that drawing in the pen was so much fun. Oh my God. Here's Aaliyah Dab in my OC again. I am so, so proud of this one right here because I was like, the abs are immaculate. Once again, I have no idea what kind of tattoo it is. It looks like an octopus, but yeah, this is her, you know, box and stuff like that. But this one is my absolute favorite, like... I love this one so much. In the next page, this is me in Naruto again. It was after the time skip. This is when I started Shippuden, actually. So Naruto is no longer a kid. He was like a teenager. So I was like, I want to have my glow up too. So I gave myself a little glow up. That's me with my owl because I wanted summoning jutsu too. This is my character, basically me um, doing water jutsus and stuff like that. I based it off of like Katara from... Um, Avatar The Last Airbender because she's a waterbender and I like how her movements look and stuff like that. I know we're in the middle of my sketchbook tour, y'all. But can we just... Ugh, I love McDonald's. No, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I wish. Next. Oh my god. I did hands because I cannot draw hands for the life of me. Okay, I cannot. I hate drawing hands. I know it's a stereotype that artists hate drawing hands, but... Uh, they're just so hard and I'm so hard on myself if they don't look right. So I made a page to practice them This is a portrait of Namjoon that I did because Kim Namjoon is an icon It doesn't really look like him like at all, but you know, I tried <laughs> That's all that matters. You hit or miss on the next page, I have a thumbnail for a painting I wanted to do that I never did some more logo work for Flores Garden I actually used I'm using this for my Next thank you card, because this was the original design for my thank you card and I like it, but I don't like it as much as I liked this. It came out really good when I did it digitally, so I'm going to use this for my thank you card. The next page is my um, self-insert from Naruto again. The moral seat that I did, the girl on the left is Zoe, and the girl on the right is Danny, and they're both in a band together with two other members that I shall introduce you right now. Joe and Kai, and all four of them are in a band together. Yeah, they're in a band called Milk and Honey, and they're my OCs. It's Danny playing the guitar, and then you got Joe on drums. And this is something I drew for Black is King. This is me trying to practice anatomy again. <laughs> Baby Yoda in the corner, and my man Kakashi in the bottom. And then these are some female um, anatomy that I did. Pictures I also got off of Pinterest. Then we got Deku and Bakugo. I just randomly drew that because I just felt like it. Then I was outside waiting for my friend this day. And um, I was just drawing what I saw in front of me. So this, this is a fruit market. So I was just drawing a whole bunch of fruit. The China Mia, a random pigeon, but that flew away. So I couldn't even finish drawing it. And we got Dunkin' Donuts after. So that's me with some iced coffee in my hand. This is my friend and Bakugo. It was a commission I was supposed to do, but um, 
I did something else for them instead. This is my friend Bridget that I drew her. She sells earrings, so this is her thank you card. And the little brown cardboard thing is what the earrings came on. I'll take this out so that you can see. But yeah, I just drew her from a picture that she had. I thought she looked really pretty, so I drew her. And since I had just finished buying some of her stuff, I just stuck in the little things that she gave me onto her page. These are a couple doodles I did while I was at the dermatologist. <laughs> me telling Kakashi he's spicy. And some other doodles that I did um, while I was waiting for my appointment. This is my favorite portrait I've ever done of J-Hope. He's also a member from BTS. <laughs> um, this is when Dynamite era was, you know, was coming out. These are just random sketches I did. This is me in my bonnet though, and that's me screaming. <laughs> this is Hawks from My Hero Academia, and this is a sketch I did from this game. I forgot what it was called, but they had a story on there called Royal Blood, and basically I was a vampire, and I'm not gonna go into the story too much, but basically it was a reverse harem. And this is a moment I had with one of my, I guess, suitors. That's me and Theo, because Theo was very spicy. Oh, also this says I spent all my money on this game. Not a lie. I spent like $30 on this game when I did not have to. And I did anyway because I was that invested and I wanted to make sure I had a good ending. Ah yes, my beautiful OC Zoe and Danny. I put them together because <laughs> I just think that they're so cute. A boy I think I got from Pinterest. And then this is my best friend's little brother Basiro. He's so cute. I love him so much. His name is Baba. The tattoo sketch design that I was doing for my friend. Um, so these are the thumbnails that I did and this is how it turned out. This is like the receptionist at my dermatologist. These are thumbnails for paintings I wanted to do. And the same thing goes for this page. I didn't manifest a lot of these actually. Um, these are just random sketches I did. This is the boy from, um, Coco, Miguel. This is me and Mirio because Mirio from My Hair Academia, such a catch. These are more, um, ideas and things I would need for, you know, my art business. This is how I designed my thank you card. There's Gone from Hunter Hunter. These are from an animatic I did. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. That I posted on TikTok. Very spicy. These are also doodles from the animatic. Not this one. This one I just did for fun. But these are all in the animatic. And this one I just did for fun. Me, my, my love for Hawks. Dobby. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen the musical Heathers. But there's this character named JD who reminds me of Dobby a lot for some reason. And there's a song called Meant to Be Yours. So I did like a mini like animatic. I don't even like Dobby. It's just that the vibe was there, and I felt like it would be so cool, so I made Dobby an animatic. I was kind of salty drawing this, I was like, yo, he's lucky this is Loki gonna be fire, because if not, I would have been so upset. But yeah, they came out good. There's, this is also in the Dobby animatic, not this. This is also like, what if I was a villain? I just look tired. <laughs> I usually look like that all the time. Um, the things I do for TikTok up there in the corner. I'm never drawing Dobby again after this because he's so annoying to draw, like the hair, the stitches, all of that. Like, ugh, this poorly drawn hand over here. Remember when I said I'm never drawing Dobby again? I had to do him again because I ran out of stuff to reuse, so I had to draw him for one last frame. <laughs> Posted drawing of Hawks that I did. And my OC Kai from the band, I gave him an older sister. Her name is Quincy. I named her Quincy. Here's a drawing I did of um, myself while I was at the dermatologist again because I had another appointment. This is me in Naruto again, but if me and Naruto were around the same age, if I could just pull up. I was always ranting to my brother about how if I was in Naruto, I would just be his friend because nobody, everybody was so mean to him except for like Choji, Shikamaru, like anyways, I don't know, but yeah, I didn't like Sasuke around this time. He was just annoying, so. Forget the Uchiha, bro. This is a random doodle I did while I was at the dermatologist again. And like, all of these were like, not you, Dobby, move. All of these, I was at the dermatologist. And that's me and Hawks. That's me thinking about me and Hawks. That's my cat. And there's Hawks. I don't know how to draw wings. I don't know what that is. We're gonna ignore that. I was listening to this song, Broken. I forgot what it was called, but I kind of drew it to the lyrics a little bit. You know, a little bit of angst. And then I actually did 
like end up having a bad day that day so i did some rant art yes it's me crying yes it's very cringy i'm sorry <laughs> This is my OC in Bakugo again. Her name is Amelia, by the way. I gave her my middle name. I couldn't think of anything else. I think I went on and changed her name from Amelia to Avery. These are some thumbnail sketches that I did for a painting. On this post-it note, I did that and I didn't like it. So, yikes, I don't like. This is me and Hawks again because I was literally obsessed for no reason with a man who's a chicken. Next, I drew the album cover of this um, Korean artist. Her name is Taeyeon. She has such an amazing, beautiful voice. Her songs are just amazing. I love her music so much. She has such a great voice. I also recommend if you've never listened to her music. Then I was doing an animatic, another one with me and Hawks, and I could not figure out what I wanted to do after that because I forgot where I was going with it because I fell asleep after drawing the first two. And there's my cat laying on my bed, so I drew this from real life. There's baby Naruto, and then there's Kakashi. <laughs> My man. Listen, I don't use the word hate a lot, but I, you know, I won't use hate here either, but I really don't like this page. This is me. I wanted to draw a witch. I was like, yo, how do you even draw a witch hat, bro? Like, um, I wanted to manifest this in time for Halloween, but by the time I finished it, it was like already November, so. It's like a little Naruto sketch in the corner, and then this, whatever that is. Then we got Yoongi from when Digitoa came out. Digital tell us a bop. Then these are my OCs, Joe and um, Kai. And they're my babies. So basically I wanted it to be like the gentle giant and the chaotic short friend. And that's their dynamic together. That's me saying like my babies. Next we have this no study page that I did. So very similar to the eyes that I did in the beginning of my book. I did the same thing with noses because i figured i should get better with noses so i do a nose or two every single day the highlighted ones are just a couple of my favorites on this page i drew a whole bunch of junk hooks because <laughs> he was on my pinterest and i just kept clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking ended up with a whole page just of junk hook and these two are my favorites yeah i think i did really well with these next we have when among us <laughs> it's so weird like going through the sketch because you can really tell about like the stages of like you know quarantine and stuff like that but this is when Among Us got really 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 popular and everybody was playing so this was me <laughs> in my little Among Us astronaut gear or whatever and this is me being ejected even though I was not the imposter my username was QB because I was watching Naruto at the time <laughs> so I made my name QBN it was them injecting me even though I was not the imposter those little bombs. Oh, well, we reached the halfway mark in my sketchbook. And this is Jiraiya from Naruto. I gave him the honors of being the middle of my sketchbook because we stand Jiraiya. So this is my little lip study. And as you can see, I gave up because there's only a couple lips on the page. And this is my watercolor pencils. I had a lot of fun using these, actually. And this is Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender, my queen. Ugh, period. And the next page, me again in Naruto. But, like, my water jutsu, me waterbending, basically. Um, obviously, my inspiration is from Avatar The Last Airbender. Not me going into the Avatar state. I mean, it's not the Avatar state. It's part of my jutsu. I don't really know what it is, but I don't feel the need to clarify because I don't have to. I don't, I don't. Fuck up! I ain't gotta explain shit to you! Yeah, there's me and Kakashi at the bottom too, and I don't know what... Here we have Naruto and Hinata, because Naruhina supremacy. Another random body. I was just like, okay. But it came out nice. I was like, ooh, I'm talking about body. That's me with my bandana on. This is a drawing of Jimin that I did. Um, and I used my watercolor pencils to like color out his hair or whatever. Then these are Polaroid pictures I have. That's me right there. As you can see, it says me, lol. And then this is my best friend's Trinity and Bridget on the second one. Next, we have some random doodles. I don't know. This page was just a mess. I don't know. Random doodles. And then this is my OC and Bakugo again. And this is when it was Halloween. It was Halloween time, and I wanted to draw something. It's on my, my art page, Artwork by Floor. Uh, but yeah, I was like, I'm a witch. There's Sushi, my cat. <laughs> I wanted him to be in the picture, too. And then here is Jimin and Taehyung from DNA. 
there's this one scene where it looked really cool and I wanted to use my watercolor pencils again so very proud of this too For the next page my mom got me like a bunch of art supplies so like this is like it was on the packaging got me that's me that's Kirby because I love Kirby I don't know who this is but like they eating it up over there in the corner that's me. I got my hair straightened. I usually wear my hair in its curly state. But yeah, I was just like, well, I got my hair straightened. Because, you know, <laughs> it really happens like once a year. It was still Halloween time or something like that. So this is a, a drawing I did of me. Because I took this really cool like picture, this filter on Snapchat. And I felt like I was in Supernatural. <laughs> so I just drew a picture of myself with like the black eyes. The black eyes are with the watercolor pencil. Because, you know, me and my watercolor pencils. And I put this wax paper over because I didn't want it to smudge. This page, very interesting. I was listening to Blue Side by J-Hope from his mixtape. And I had this like Mang sticker that I did. I didn't like put the tape on it or anything because I was like, if it's, I'm going to put it in my book. So I might as well just like just glue it in there. So I glued Mang, I glued Mang, I glued Mang in there. <laughs> this is when I got my first like set of oil pastels. This is me when I was playing with it on the train. Hmm. And this is when I got home and started trying to experiment with it. And I thought it was really cool and it was a lot of fun. This, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this page. Um, that's me, period. That's, that's Baby Yoda with the blower. <laughs> that's me with a Glock. Um, <laughs> threatening somebody for cuddles. Is my OC um, Avery. It says Amelia at the top, but Avery. This is like the first design I did of her, and I didn't even like it, so I redid it. Then we have this random doodle I did, and it actually ended up looking like somebody I know, like one of my friends. Amelia again, even though I changed her name to Avery. I guess I just forgot. This is the design I decided to go with because, I don't know, I, I just liked it. That's, that's me. <laughs> Here is me. I put myself in My Hero Academia. This is me. That's me and Deku. And we're fangirling over Miru because Haiki, Mirio, one of the best boys on My Hero Academia. Me annoying Bakugo because I feel like I have that chaotic energy where he would hate me. And this is me whenever Mineta exists. Um, this is a thumbnail that I did for a painting that I did actually complete. That's on my Instagram page that I actually completed. And I was very, very proud of it. Random Eye there for whatever reason and a sketch of I'm assuming Avery because it it looks like Avery it looks like the hairstyle that I always give him I was feeling a little nostalgic in this page a little bit got Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tale um in my style I don't know what this is like I couldn't tell you if I tried random eyeball a oh bleh then you got <laughs> I think this is me it says, I don't know either. I don't know if y'all can read that, but it says, I don't know either. I, yeah, no, I, cause I really don't know. I mean, I really, I wish I could tell you, but I, I, I can't. This is another self-portrait. It doesn't really look like me, but you know, I tried and that's how my fro looked. My fro looked so good that day. This is Baby Yoda, cause I love Baby Yoda, also known as Grogu. He's so cute. This is one of my friends. And you are enough, you are enough, you are enough. That was me reminding myself that I'm not trash. <laughs> so, <laughs> The next page we have Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen because he's fine. Y'all gonna tell me this hand did not come out fire though. Y'all, I hate hands. But that hand, this one, that's my best friend, random doodle, some commissions I needed to do, and a design for commission that I was doing for my sister. This is, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Suguna. <laughs> I'ma flip it. It says flipping your own risk. If you get the joke, you get it. If you don't, then you don't. But yeah, this is my. <laughs> this is Avery in Jujutsu Kaisen, and that's me in Jujutsu Kaisen because I was like, there's no way I'm going to be a sorcerer because I'm not trying to die. These are a couple of sketches I did of my friends. Some random emo person. I didn't feel like drawing the other eye. That's why I used to always draw people when I was younger. A nose, random doodle. Ah. Me in a reverse harem between Sukuna and Gojo because obviously I'm the main character. This is a painting thumbnail that I did for a painting that I never finished actually. It's still sitting in my room. These are um, my winter solstice manifestation things that y'all don't need to be reading. So I'm going to the next page. 
This is my friend Jai. I drew him because he said that I could, so I did. And this is my little brother Jeremy. He was sitting next to me while we were on the train. These are random doodles I did while I was on the train as well. Including Gojo because, you know, Gojo brain rot. It's me as Sukuna, so if I was Sukuna's vessel, she drew herself as Sukuna. Like if she was Sukuna's vessel and I was like, oh my gosh, can I do it too? And she was like, yeah. So I did it. Me drawing from your life, that's my cat, plant, plant go boom boom. It was an audio on TikTok, I think, where it was like, was it hawks? It was like hawks and he was like, plant go boom boom. And I thought it was hilarious. And then plant in my living room. As you can see, it says animatic featuring doodles. So like, these are the doodles. Yuji and Sukuna are the doodles. And then me and Gojo are from the animatic. And then this, um, I don't really know. <laughs> this is also from the animatic and this is from the animatic. This is also from the animatic. And this is when I found out that Gojo knew Megumi as a kid. So I figured Megumi would not like Gojo. <laughs> so I drew this. This is a mini animatic that I did for TikTok as well. It's an interaction between Yuji and Nobara, so that that's what that is. This is my friend Katrina. She was driving and I thought she looked so bougie, so I drew her. It's me going cool. Bernie, my friend Bridget, told me to draw her while she was on the train. And she did the Bernie pose, so I did it, because she asked. <laughs> this is some college stuff featuring going in Kiowa. For my eyes, I was pretty tired when I did this. I just wanted to draw something in my book. Um, it doesn't look that good, but yeah, it is what it is. Random doodles. I think I was looking at a reference for this, but I don't really remember. That's me, that's me, that's me. I draw myself a lot. It's my own book. I can do what I want. There's Maka, a mini Maka. In the corner because I was watching Soul Eater for the first time actually. I don't know what this was. Yeah, I don't really know what that is or the doodles on the side. This is Gojo, a Gojo sticker that I made. This is a little cartoon self-portrait that I did. I thought it was cute. I just used some random colored pencils my little brother had. Here's me again. I actually messed up. I was trying to use um, pastels and I actually got it onto the actual like drawing so I just covered it up. I was trying to draw somebody fighting and I thought it came out so ugly and these were drawn on the same day and I was just like, yo, why can't I draw today? Like, today's just so trash. Like, why can't I draw today? On the next page, my little brother actually drew this for me because he knows that I love come up. Oh! He knows that I love pandas. I, I adore pandas. So he drew this little panda for me. Kim Sook Jin from BTS. It looked a lot better before I got like all smudged with the um, Crayola crayon. Oh, Jen, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is me in Splatoon. And that's my brother's character in Splatoon. And those are our characters in Splatoon. I've never even played Splatoon. I think we were just playing Smash Bros. at this time. And if you were like an inkling or whatever, I was like, this is how I would want to look. This is me. I was watching a video on anatomy. Because, you know, my anatomy kind of needs some help. And I did that thing where it was like you draw the random shapes and you draw something that makes it look like it. I don't know. There's a Dorito chip with headphones here, a person, asteroid that hit the dinosaurs. I think this is a lamp, umbrella, lava lamp, a book, a seashell, like from Spongebob. This is Death the Kid. I was so proud of how this came out because Death the Kid is like my favorite character in Soul Eater. And I thought he looked so cool and that he was so funny. And I watched it in dub, so like Todd Capricorn. I call him Todd Capricorn. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm sorry. Todd Capricorn. <laughs> his voice actor is iconic. His voice is iconic. And whenever he voices someone, it's usually funny or really good acting. So I thought he did a great job with Death the Kid. Death the Kid is my favorite character. And I grew up on fairy tales, so that's why I automatically knew it was my man's Todd. And I was like, oh my god, not so. So yeah. Period. That the kid supremacy. This is me sitting on a boulder, my UG sticker, and I think that's Connie <laughs> from Attack on Titan and a random baby, some random girl walking away. I don't know. I was trying to learn how to draw people walking, and you know she just looks like I don't know. <laughs> These are a dude. This is a doodle I did of my friend May, um, because she took a really cute picture and I decided to draw it. These are just random colors of acrylic paint. This is when I could when I learned I could paint. 
in my sketchbook and I got so happy and I barely even painted anything after I found out. But anyways, this is supposed to be Hallie from Coex Hallie. It does not look like her, but I think it came out cool nonetheless. The painting I did in the next, the mini painting that I did in the next um, page, it says acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation of all abundance. I really love that little saying, so I just glued it in right there, right next to my little painting. So, you know, it creates a cute little, cute little spread. You know what I'm saying? Cute little spread. Yes, I was actually getting into um, anatomy and, you know, statues and stuff like that. There's an eyeball that one of my friends did. Little saying. Here's some rant art that I did. I was really in my bag, you know. This is just me playing around with fashion and how to draw bodies and me having fun with my watercolor pencils again. This is me as a Pokemon trainer because the new Pokemon, the remake, was get, was announced for Switch and I was just so excited. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for the game to come out so I can get myself a Turtwig. That's my sister and her Piplup because she's gonna choose Piplup. And there's James, <laughs> my brother James. This is another page of hands that I did. I was determined. See, it says, I will master hands. And I didn't, but it did get better. This is, this is Jungkook's hand because his tattoos are really cool. And I wanted to try drawing it. And, you know, the ones with the highlights behind it are the ones that I really do like. So this one and this one. Here, it was not mermaid, but I wanted to draw a mermaid. So I did. That's my lizard Harlow, a random eyeball, and some girl just sitting there, I guess. These were tattoo thumbnails that I was supposed to do for my friend that, you know, I never really went through with because she asked for a different design. This is cute. I could probably make it a painting. This is something I did with watercolor pencils again. Yes, I spelled intimacy wrong. I don't know why I spelled it that way, but it is obviously incorrect. And that poorly drawn hand, and I, I think this is supposed to be Jimin, but it came out weird. I just taped this into my book because I felt like it. And then here we have Namjoon from BTS because his fits are everything. Here, I just decided I wanted to draw Natsu from Fairy Tale. Here's some Easter stickers that my brother gave me. That's Itachi from Naruto, and that's me and Itachi because I feel like Homeboy just needed a hug, and I would have given it to him had I been part of the Akatsuki group. So, these are the thumbnails that I was doing for my friend Bridget for a little animation I was gonna do for her. This is Eren from Attack on Titan Shinkaki no Kyojin. You flip it, you see his eyes and me. This is me as a Titan. This is a little painting I did in my book. I think this was originally a Ghibli scene that I absolutely butchered. It looks nothing like the reference photo at all. I didn't think it was all that bad, but. This is SZA from the Kiss Me More music video. I love that music video so much. An eyeball and me. And then this is when I was playing Animal Crossing. It was after like the trend, like the beginning of COVID, but you know, I wanted to play it anyway, so I did. This is when I got my first dose of the vaccine. George Floyd, um, his murderer, Derek Chauvin, was held accountable. And you know, I just documented all of that that day. And a page of all green, because why not? You know, I got frogs, Kakashi, you know, frog suit. Girl in a green dress, girl in a green scarf. I thought it was a fun little page. Here we got some characters that I made, because I was like, I want to make a zombie book, a zombie comic book. I never even went through with designing the rest of the characters, but, you know, we stand her. She basically just looks like me, but I guess I just did another self-insert without thinking about it, but whatever. These are little paintings I did. Um, just for the heck of it, just for fun. I thought it was a cute little um, page, whatever. The little rose, the girls with the flowers in their hair. Then this was for Mermaid, actually. This was for Mermaid. So I just threw, drew a little mermaid. I gave her a little cat. That's supposed to be a catfish. <laughs> These are the, some of the Jujutsu Kaisen characters um, blushing. So you cute. We got Yuji. We got, you know, Megumi, Nanami, Gojo, Nobara. Just blushing. Here is, uh, <laughs> I tried to draw. I don't, you see, I guess you can kind of see what's going on here. That's a drunk cook from BTS. 
He's also Jungkook from BTS. And I was watching Star Wars, The Clone Wars. And that's basically me as a Jedi and me with my <laughs> dueling lightsabers. This is another self-portrait that I did. Um, I actually am really, really proud of it, how it came out. And then right next to me is my friend Mia. I drew her. Basically, the spread is, you know, just two portraits. I think it looks really cool with the green and the yellow. I think the contrast is really nice. Then, this is me trying to learn hands again, but this time featuring Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen because Sukuna has some very pretty hands. And I ended up just doing the whole page of, like, Sukuna and his hands. Here is when I decided I wanted to try to learn how to color with color pencils. So this is me just doing a couple swatches. There's me, I drew a pumpkin and I tried to draw a strand of hair. It did not come out that good, but we can appreciate my pumpkin. This is a little spread that I did with my character Avery and Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen as well. And I wanted to do a little something with this that was like having your character betray the main character. This is when I got my second dose of the vaccine, May 11th. And yeah, because at that point I was over the pandemic and I was ready for it to end. So this is just me, you know. Here I was practicing kissing poses. Kithith. This is my Kithith page. Period. This is the thumbnail that I did for Solar Soul, which is a video that I did. That's actually up on my channel right now. My very first paint with me on this channel. And this is Sukuna, me, and Gordon Ramsay because... I love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's so funny. I watch all of his content and I was watching him and I wanted to draw so I just doodled him. Here is my best friend's little brother Baba. Um, he said hi to me for the first time this day. A little comic and he just said hi to me and it made me surprised. A little coffee thing I taped into my book. Um, basically he was wearing this hoodie and I edited a lightsaber in his hand and I drew it so. This I was trying to do random shapes and you know, try to find anything for it like I did earlier in my book. These are a couple of random doodles. And this is around the time I was playing Fire Emblem, so I was going through Claude Von Regan Brain Rot. If you haven't played Fire Emblem, I suggest you do. It is a great game. Claude is superior, period. Again, like I said, Claude Brain Rot. This is me and Claude. Because <laughs> Claude, he's just so fine. I'm sorry. More of me and Claude. I take my apology back. I will never apologize for simping for this man because Claude is just immaculate. Next page. Baby cows, cause I love, they're so cute. Like, if you haven't seen fluffy baby cows, you need to cause baby cows are so adorable. Friend did a shoot and I drew one of the pictures that she took and this is how it turned out. Very, very pretty. I already said it before and I'll say it again. Claude brain rot. <laughs> That's it. Please, he's so hot. Because he is. Like, do y'all not know Claude Von Regan? Oh, this is from the BTS meal. I glued it into my sketchbook because I felt like it. And then some more random doodles. Me flipping off Seteth. If you know who Seteth is, period. If you don't, rip. Yes, my sister and Ferdinand, because my sister also played um, Fire Emblem. And then this is my brother. He played the game as well. He ended up with Lysithia, that's me and Claude, so they get the good doodles and I get that because I already drew myself with Claude more than once. Finally, we have Don't Patronize Me Felix from Fire Emblem, my sister, but this is all Fire Emblem related content. <laughs> this, that was in here until I just ripped it out, but yeah, that's me and Claude again. And I couldn't find my tape, so I couldn't tape it, but basically flip it over, and there's me on my dinosaur. I named him Rengoku because Rengoku from Demon Slayer is best boy. And then this is my final page of my sketchbook. That's a little note my brother made for me. Um, he wrote this for me as well. And yeah, that's it. Oh, that's the end of my sixth sketchbook. I hope you guys really enjoyed.